Hello everyone, Ishkia Page here. Today I'm going to talk to you about procrastination and resistance. That's two broad subjects, but I'm going to boil it down into something that um, is that's more important and is that is to how to get out of it. It doesn't matter how we got into it because there could be a million different reasons why we get into these states of resistance and procrastination. But most of it comes from dread. And now how you get into that dread could be a plethora of different reasons. I'm going to tell you a really quick story. Back in later in my uh, martial arts career, I had uh, different schools. And I was at an incredible low, can't even tell you how low a time in my life. And all of my life intention, all of my life investments, uh, everything changed. They just were non-existent. And I was getting ready to teach three classes and start with kids, adults, and then another specialization class. And so there was a lot of people out there in the dojo, on the sidelines, in the self-improvement library. Um, the kids were out on the mats, kind of rolling around. And I absolutely dreaded going out there. I had total resistance. I energetically couldn't even accept in that bright energy that I so much taught. I taught this energy. I taught these, this way of living. But I was totally resistant to it. So I get out there and I remember trying to smile and my, my, the soul, my spirit had totally left my, my tissue. And I remember my muscles in my face creaking when I was trying to smile. There was no energy in it. That's how resistant that I got. And now, you know, you may not always get to that point, that extreme point, but it doesn't matter. It all builds up and that has bad detrimental effects. This is just an extreme example. So I'm standing in front of this class, bright shining faces, and I remember this little boy in particular, he just absolutely glowed. And I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about this. And I kind of went off on a journey right there, standing up in front of him, getting ready for class. And long story short, I'll come back from the journey. And I realized that everybody's faces had kind of like concern in their face. And I realized my intention for life didn't exist anymore my and then as a result i had no investment i mean most people start out with an intention or a goal in life and then build everything around it but you don't always have that luxury you can do it both ways so the, what the root of the problem was in this particular case is because all of that was gone i didn't bother to add a remedy for that and the problem was is i had whys I needed to teach these class because blah, 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 blah. But I had no living wise. And in a moment, I created three living whys, which suddenly gave me an idea for a new intention in life, which suddenly gave me the reason to invest in it. And I will tell you this, that was the most amazing class out of traveling all over the world teaching and learning. That was the most amazing class I've ever had in my life or get taught in my life. Absolutely hands down. I remember everything to this day what happened in that class. When you take out the trash, why do you take the trash out? Because you don't want your trash to build up. You don't want your house to stink. You don't, you know, on and on and on. Those are good whys, but they're dead. So now when you take out the trash, use that time to create a new living why. Take out the trash and use, I take out the trash because it is my time, my peaceful time to figure out what I'm going to do, the one thing I'm going to do today to invest in my career. Or the one thing I'm gonna to do today to help someone else. 
So what am I going to do today? You know, or reflect on what I could have done, but instead of go, oh my gosh, what regret, turn it around into another living why. Today, I can invest in blah, 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 or use that time for something living. And then suddenly, taking out the trash or any other menial piece of life becomes living and vibrant and in motion. So write down three things you dread in life. And then write down three whys right off the top of your head as the reason why you go ahead and do them anyway. Now, if you go through those whys and they're dead, replace them with living whys. It will totally get you out of procrastination, resistance. If you really give it an effort, if you make it mean something, if you make it something that's in motion. I hope you create an amazing day. Bye-bye.